So guys, we're going to be looking at this tactical vest that I made several years ago. Kind of interesting. That uh, was one of the first things that I've, I actually made when I got a sewing machine. So I didn't really know exactly what I was doing. My fabric choice was pretty bad. I just used like a really thin cotton material that I got at Walmart for like a dollar or two a yard instead of a, a thicker, more robust material. So this isn't the most uh, durable uh, garment, nor is it constructed that well, but it's got a lot of uh, things going for it. It does have a zipper. Um, there is an, a little pocket right here is meant for pellets or something very small. That's really the only, only inner pocket. The inner liner consists of a t-shirt and it doesn't even go all the way down but it's just a t-shirt that I cut up and turned into an inner liner. So there's technically two layers to this thing. So it zips back up here. Now it's got a ton of different pockets on it. So we've got I guess starting at the top, we've got a uh, little elastic loop that you can stick a knife in or anything up here. Got a D-ring that you can hang stuff from up here. A lot of these uh, pockets and accessory things that are sewn on are reinforced with hot glue. I don't know why I used hot glue, but that's what I chose to use. So. Um, so we've got these, so we've got a little pocket here, these are all Velcro, Just simple little pockets. This was some army surplus type, I don't even know what it was, pocket uh, strap type thing that I just cut up and sewed on here. It's waterproof, so you can put stuff in here and it's real thick and durable. Also provide some protection against your chest here. Uh, we have a big side pocket. We have a really large pocket in the back, which is kind of hard to get to Velcros. So that would be, honestly, I would probably put like toilet paper or something back there, something really light, because this, it's it's a big pocket but it's not really meant to, to hold heavy gear, so you'd want something light, maybe like a, another shirt or, you know, cloth or just something lightweight you can put it back there. I guess if you, you had to, it was kind of inspired by the, the hunting cargo vests where you would put your game back there, so if you had some plastic bags in there, I guess you could throw a squirrel on, in there. Uh, it does have this, these elastic straps that you can put a pistol in. It's just an airsoft pistol. But um, depending on your holster, I do have a holster that fits in here really well also. So you can put the holster in and then just pull the gun directly from the holster. You don't have to actually have the gun inside the straps here. This is not fully secure. This pouch or pocket panel actually has elastic that can fit either CO2 cartridges or shotgun shells or really anything else that would cylindrical that would fit in there. So you can hold up to four of those. I've just got two in here for demonstration purposes. And then we have two pockets down here. These both have reinforced bottoms so you can uh, put a little bit of heavier stuff in these ones here and then it's split on the sides so that you can put a holster or pouches on a belt you can have a belt underneath this not over it it's also you know it's a vest style so it gives your arms plenty of room to breathe. There is actually leather, or pleather I should say, 
under here to really uh, give you extra strength support on the shoulders because this is kind of a gear type vest so it's meant to hold hold stuff but again because it's such a lightweight fabric it's not very strong so you don't want a bunch of heavy really heavy items um, then we've got some reinforcement type of strap that I've sewn in or glued in along the edges here to prevent it from tearing. The chest is open to allow all your heat out. So this isn't something you'd want to keep you warm. This is actually very lightweight. So one good thing about it, those heavy duty military cargo vests, very heavy. They can be very hot and cumbersome. This one's very light. So if you just had a small amount of gear and you just wanted to put a lot of stuff in there to wear just as a throw on type of a vest, this would be a good choice for it. Not that anyone else besides me has one of these, but it's just an idea for anyone who uh, may want to make one or something like this one day. It's pretty inexpensive to make, probably only like $20 worth of materials. So it's just a fun little project. But since I do a lot of survival and tactical, tactical kind of stuff on my channel, I wanted to throw this in. It's just something I did a long time ago. It's pretty cool. But um, I've got been doing some uh, other handmade items, clothing, survival items that I've made. So I've got a lot of other videos like that on my channel. So like, subscribe, comment, all that. And thanks for watching.